back. Welcome back. I started the stream. Excellent. Is they about ready to start as well? Well, I do hope so. It seems to have uh, everybody on board. I don't like to be biased here, but I think blue is uh, the early favourite. Switch to the game screen and uh, show the people what the teams are. And there we go. Half Life 2 stopped working. Oh dear. I don't know why that happens. It only happens once. And luckily I uh, did it right now instead of when the game is starting. Bandy has been given an interesting role as Pyro. Yeah, Spandy's been given an interesting role as Pyro. Yeah, we will see uh, how well he fares with that. Usually can uh, be quite one-sided with him as Sniper on the team. Yeah, last time he was quite impactful for the team he was playing on as Sniper. And I guess Sam's way of balancing the teams is just giving them a lesser influential role or something they haven't played as often just to yeah less impact less impact roles patch is a good spy um who else do i think the standouts they raise pretty good that's why i think blue slightly stronger and all she is good but playing as an engineer but even off offensive engineers are uh, can uh, swing a map like this with these quality of players. Yeah, well let's see who arrives at the point first. It seems to be the Red Demo, Sam, blowed up by his team, and they are holding the point quite well. Nothing uh, of much importance happening, although Red has their Uber up already, but Red yeah, Medic gets killed! Fun. That medic is down, and Jim Bob is still charging, but it's not attacking the point, and Red takes it. The medic is down though, so this is a, should be a free point. They're fixing up, the medic gets shot from behind, but he survives. And for a moment it looked like Red had the point, but uh, because the medic got killed, it collapsed pretty quickly. Yeah, I thought Blue's medic was going to get stuck in the corner, which often happens on the granary, and that Red would be in the more offensive, but the, the uh, spy simply swung that for him. Well done by uh, Sam, I think. He was the spy that killed it. Okay, Red is just trying to hold the plane and the small choke point until they have the Uber back up, which will be before the Blue Uber is back up. And they're both running Creeks Creeks, if I see it correctly. Yeah, they're both running Chris Creeks. The medic is ready. They're thinking of going in. They're going in with the demo. Ooh, but this choke point! This choke point! Oh! 
it crits on the demo and that gets half the team. The lone soldier coming through like a noticed blue soldier really uh, split that attack as well. And that's just blue on the next point already. I mean the pyro kills the scout but it doesn't matter, the point is theirs. And that's another nice forward spawn point. The medic's running away. Yeah, Red should really be dropping back here. They can't hold both exits. And, the, and their medic is on fire. They seem to be wanting to keep the pressure on, but I'm not sure if they can. And especially when the medic is just leaving his heavy. And a spy, and, and the holy. heavy goes down. And there goes the medic. As a medic, you should never just go after a spy. You're way more important than that, and this time it just cost the medic's life. But the red spy! Well done by Agent. Killed the blue medic. It cost him his life, but that doesn't matter. The blue medic is down. Meanwhile, at the point, the blue demo tries to attack and clears a bit of the point, but there are yeah. still stickies on the point. And the demo gets killed. Blue sort of done a half uh, committed attempt there at trying to cap it, but I think Red can come back strong now. Yeah, blue team was mostly dead while Red is coming back up, and this will result in the point most likely. A, <laughs> a mad pyro run in will not help, Stanley. They're piling their bodies on it one by one, and Red just eats them for breakfast. Cheeky sentry will do nothing to the heavy medic combo. And the teleporter entrance place there is uh, orphaned. Red still rocking a charge and they think they can push. They're going in with a crit demo. But there's nobody on the point to shoot. Where's the enemy? Uh, is that something on the other point? If they block it, Blue will get the point. Blue gets the other point. Who was the sneaker one that captured it? Who are you and where are you going? It's Infamous uh, Blue. Infamous Blue is now going back for the point. He's killing the engineer's sentry and he got killed by the engineer and that means that uh, Wiseman can capture the point himself. So this can be an NGNG battle. Who's gonna win it? Well, Blue Edge is gonna get some support from the soldier and the sniper. I think there's a battle going on. Oh, a random uh, heavy appears. Blue, uh, that sneaky scout secured the point for Blue pretty well. And I was hoping to see him go for the next point because that cap is really quick and it had nothing on it, only a spy defending it. But he thought he had to go back to the other point. My back cap was so important then, it uh, totally stopped their momentum. And it brought a bit of confusement uh, in the ranks as well. Okay, red is crit streak again, they're ready to go in. They're going with a crit demo, they get a sentry, then got a scout and they got a sniper but here comes the heavy from above they have to pull back Spandy comes and tries to get the point but he just gets surprised by all the people there what's gonna happen to you heavy medic where are you going they are pulling back wisely he gets bonked Ooh, they switch to uber by the way what are you gonna do? Are you gonna help the soldier? No, you're not gonna help your soldier. You're moving in. Where is your team, heavy medic? The control point is being contested. Scout's coming back in, going for a medic pick. Nope. No. <laughs> they trusted the spy for a split second there. I think they're actually capping the point by themselves. Stay on the point, people. Oh. Blue just need to hold a second and build their uh, mission. Lose men needlessly trying to push last. 
they had the uber advantage uh, now they should just have the choke point advantage only three ways of getting in you can hold it blue and just wait until the uber is back up red seems to still have still use the crits so you can try and hold it here they come crits gets two Sam is going on a uh, bit of a spree here. He's blowing up a lot of things, including buildings. And Blue just wasn't ready for it. The heavy medic uh, is moving up from far away, just because the point got camped, I think. <laughs> they don't trust their own engineer. Control point and they seem to have completely walked past the red push. We will get caught from behind now, but not in time. They could just run in front of the wave if they were smart. Just keep a few classes behind to keep the point from being capped and go. But they move on. There's a surprising difference in quality of the. Uh Soldiers, I think, is one of the biggest early indicators. Soldier and Demo were struggling on blue. Yeah, that's what I said was the most influential process. Uh, the people on my spy uh, stand there, the heaviest down. Uh, the Soldier and Demo on Team Red are probably people that played them a bit more than the Soldier and Demo on Team Blue. And now it seems that Red actually is attacking the last point, something Blue hasn't done this game. Just because they were blown up so much. And it's a capital spy. Valiant effort by the Blue Engineer to uh, defend it, but uh, it did not work. So that was quite back and forwards. <laughs> I was quite surprised, really, that. Uh, it, it's so important the initial uh, push on to mid here. Both teams are looking equal in strength, although blue is a bit better at using their momentum. Okay, it seems that both teams arrive at about the same time. Red again has a small time difference on the point. Yeah, Red are definitely pushing their medic up further onto the midpoint. It's just that spy caught them last time. Not happened this time though. Their rollout is way quicker. Yeah, it always surprises me how like slow some scouts are to get to middle when there's only a few simple jumps that you have to do on this map. Okay, there's a single blue scout trying to defend, he can't defend, he's wisely retreating. And that lone heavy is not going to do anything, especially not when the medic is there. Red is really found their groove, knows how to push the advantage. They almost have an uber, there's a small sentry guarding it, but that shouldn't be a problem, right? The sentry goes down, and the only thing the scout gets for it is a little pissy. Demo on top uh, gets a bit of damage on the medic and he has to be careful now. He's going upstairs with the heavy. They're probably going to try to move it from the top. Ooh. Unexpected soldier there gets the scout, not the medic, luckily. Now blue notes they're there. Here comes the demo again with the crit creek. But Sam is not killing anyone. And that just results in the death of him and his medic. This is bad. More than half of Team Blue was dead. Sorry, Team... Yeah, Team Blue. So, Red, why aren't you pushing? Because now they have you advantage. Now Blue's gonna push in. And they have a crit streak as well again. So they're going for the damage. Are you able to hold? Oh, the demo. Can we get the damage off? Yes! The blue medic is down. That was horrible. They put all their eggs in one basket. A normal sentry is up, but it's only level one, so it doesn't matter. Blue got blown to pieces there, and because of they weren't using a proper Uber, it's just 
bad. See, I wish I hadn't have tried predicting something now. It's gone completely wrong. <laughs> right, what's the new prediction for this one? Who's going to win this one? Oh, it's definitely red. For sure? Always bet on red, yeah. Just the stronger medic push out onto middle. If they get control again, I can't see them blue putting up much of a fight. Their soldiers aren't getting much high ground. Um, there's just there's just a definite uh, difference in quality of the uh, the offensive you can see heavy it right classes. Now. The soldiers and the demos on Team Red were on the blue containers already, spamming all the choke points, getting everybody to pull back. This is even worse than the last game. The blue is pushed back into the choke points. It's free reign for Red on the point. And that's the trouble when people don't commit. They don't, you know, people die solo and then it all breaks down and if you'd have just gone with a confident push and the medic just goes down really quickly there as well on ramp. That's just that's just work of the demo stickies right there, getting the choke points and everything. I mean Blue had to know that was lost there. They shouldn't have carried on with that push and lost the Uber. It's just throwing bodies on the pile and that loses you the game. If you can't commit, pull back, but if you commit, do commit. The scout's going for the medic. But he... couldn't get the meat shots. No. He is trying to go for the back cap, but he will probably get punished for it. And Red doesn't care. They cap this point quicker. And they have a charge ready. The medic is torn. Where should he go? Are you ready? Right, they're going in with the demo crits again. There is a teleporter behind and the medic gets killed because of the confusion it caused. So that's I think there's, this is like a big thing with like the engineer as well, what I was saying. Like Olshi, even though he's uh, on blue, he's managing to get a good score just by simply going with a shotgun and being more offensive using it as like an offensive class. I don't think you can do a lot of damage with a sentry in this sort of game mode. No, it's probably but just getting the mini sentry down to get the reliable damage unnoticed and giving some meat shots as an engineer yourself. Ooh, what a cheeky stab there by Patch! The medic was healing the spy! They're quite wary now of the spy and uh, Heavy seems to be going in by itself. I wonder why the blue sniper is opting to go for the bow and arrow instead of a normal sniper gun. Because I blue. Sorry, sir. Because I think the pickoff on the heavy would be big here, and I'm not sure if the bow and arrow is reliable. Anymore. Yeah, I was wondering why the bow and arrow was uh, was chosen. Medic uh, taking out the medic with the sniper is far too effective, whereas the Huntsman definitely is more of a spam, a lucky sort of weapon. Yeah, and your demo is the one that has to spam the corridors anyway. Like, a kill on the heavy is fine, but you're not going to kill a heavy with a bow headshot anyway if he's overcharged. And the medic one, yeah, it's really hard to get if a heavy is in front of that. And here goes the medic. He gets killed, but uh, it doesn't matter. The point's captured again. It seems that Red really just commits to their pushes and is way faster in the rolling out. Let's see if it changes this time. Where's Red? Where's Blue? Blue Scout is first. Small battle on the point, but the Red Pyro makes sure that the Blue Scout has to fall back and dies for it. And vice versa, only now it's the Red Demo dying, so there goes Team Red's point denial. But Team Blue doesn't seem to want to move out of the choke points. Medic's all alone after Agent picked off the heavy. Medic's probably going to go down here. Yep. 
Well done by agent. Alert. The control point is being captured. It seems that after the first game Red really found their swing and now we're just completely destroying the team blue with it. I think Team Spirit goes down quite quickly, especially after like you have one round where it's back and forwards a little bit and long and then you have a run of ones where the rounds have won quite quickly. It can be hard to sort of reset yourself and get back into it. Yeah, this is probably to do with not having a real team leader that, that keeps the people together saying like, okay guys, that wasn't very good, stay together, we can do this. It's just, if you, if you don't, you collapse as a unit, um, that's not good for the team morale. Yeah, they definitely need red. Definitely need someone. Um, sorry, blue definitely needs someone holding them back now instead of pushing and waiting to see if they can get the uber advantage. But they're just sort of opening the gates and just inviting gunfire on them. They're not giving the engineer time to build up his sentries. Look here, agent almost got the sentry down again. He escapes from it, and meanwhile, while that's going on. Red attacks. They made a mistake of getting the medic killed though. But it looks like there's no one on the point. Other than the engineer. Oh, here they come the back one cap. by one. The back cap saved them there. Yeah. But I don't think they're gonna get numbers back. They can uh... The next red respawn will probably be close yeah, it's closer again because of the point. And they can just start building their river again, building their ranks again. Blue will probably try to get their defenses up, but uh, I don't see any push anytime soon from Blue. Especially since they're way behind on Uber. They're going for some peekaboo shots. Oh, here we go. The red sniper has a normal sniper rifle and gets the pyro. Okay. That's most of Team Blue down. And here we have the red pyro. Is he getting He's getting the point. Well played by the red pyro there. Did a nice bit of keep away with the old ear blasting. Yeah, and there were no stickies on point, so the demo couldn't do anything really. That's 4-0 for Team Red or Team Chaos. The team Jurassic Park is just not doing it. The T-Rex isn't free. I think Red, if things were shuffled around, could definitely... Uh, sorry, Red. Uh, Blue, if the teams were shuffled around without having player swaps, could easily uh, compete with the red team. Yeah, they probably need to put their players on the red classes. Oh, but uh, it seems uh, looking at their last uh, and final defeat, Blue actually thought like we're going to give it all or nothing and so far it's been working for them, although <laughs> that crit's really punished the mid game. Yeah, that it. medic and heavy really pushed forward then, although unfortunately they've just had to uber so and he could have saved an engineer with that Uber, but he chose to not to. But spy is lurking for the for the medic pick. Red spy. They do have the point, and they have a scout moving into the point as well. But I heard he got shot, and it didn't sound good. I also wonder why the um, red medic for the, went for the unconventional uh, heavy minigun. And not for the standard one like Team Blue went. Because it does seem to work out for them. Especially with the spy <laughs> getting the backstabs. Another nice stab by Agent 47. That just destroys the red front. Oh. And the red... Heavy also gets stabbed. It doesn't seem that any of the teams have a good spy reflex. Like, as soon as you call spy in chat, turn around. Yeah, I know last week, like, um, when I played, it was difficult. I was playing heavy. 
but the medic wasn't doing enough spy check in itself by moving like back and forwards and Turned bumping around. into things so it made it you know when the call is that late there's not a lot you can do about it and the beam all stay connected you don't have to look People forget that everyone can spy check and bustle around the medic to make it as difficult as possible. And if the medic says, like, I can't do this, put a pyro in it. I mean, pyro is a nice key point class for the damage, for the explosive damage, and of course he's a good spy checking class. But indeed, there's not enough spy checking by the medic himself. You don't need to attack the spy, you just need to detect the spy. That's more than 80% of the work done on the spy already. We have a stray medic and heavy uber coming in from the side. Which they're going to waste on the soul demo, unfortunately. There's not a lot in the middle for red though, they could uh, they could make something of this. Yeah, but they lost a medic. Red lost a medic. Uh, I mean, sorry, blue could make something of this. Getting confused with colours, you. <laughs> <laughs> if they bleed, you're probably shooting the right people. And it seems that blue has shot the right people because they have midpoint again. Blue also still has the uber advantage, uh, and Team Red is about... Agent's gonna go in for the sticky snab, stab. He's been detected. Time has been added. Okay, Blue has a charge. They're ready to go in. They should go in. They have the advantage. They should know that the point is not being mind yet there are no sentries they're walking in oh they're sneaking in this is a lot of ground for the blue heavy medic all right blue call in your team say everyone to move in well the medic's got the crits but it's not gonna be much help <laughs> the blue pyro clears out. the point oh god well well played blue the comeback is real i do hope so although with five minutes left I think they're gonna have to uh, steamroll them pretty quickly yeah that's probably not gonna happen okay it seems that blue scout is there and red scout was a bit earlier and <laughs> he's gonna die for it someone had a lovely uh, Baseball bat bonk then on the uh, stun on uh, the team. Red's going in with the crits again. But the oh. whole. That was a big play. Heavy yeah. medic going down Heavy to the spine. Heavy going down by patch. That's wonderful. That just means a free point for Team Blue. And the free spy as well. There's a bit of fighting between the two engineers. And the engineer and the soldier. But come on, Blue, get the point. Get everyone on your team on the point. Capture this thing, and you have a nice bit of weight to your next push. Heavy's probably waiting for the medic to come back. Both heavies are waiting for the medic to come back. Red found his. Did Blue find his? He found his. Meanwhile, there's a bit of back and forth between Red and Blue. Some yeah, here Red, and there. Have, Red have nearly got their crits Krieger. If they can uh, push a demo man in, because Blue have pushed into these choke areas, they really need to make the most of them being sort They're of going caged. And oh, they probably was spotted on time and oh the scout got the medic and Sam is forced to pull back the demo is forced to pull back that's they were doing the right thing but at the wrong time that's the thing about uh, the crits creek like you want to push in when they are committed to their push because now as you could see 
blue was just pulling back like crits pull back let them waste it and then we can just push and it seems they are unwilling to push even though they have the uber or at least they're not that eager to push come on blue maybe they're thinking ah two minutes we can hold them Here we go on the point. <laughs> it's a slaughter, but I don't know which way. <laughs> the spider tries to get a few stabs in, but kills quite bigly. And Red has the Ruba back up again, or that crits. If I should say. Where well, are you going, Medic? Your team is not there, Medic. You're on your own. Well, you found this. On the pyro, but that pyro is not going to do much work for you. At least I don't think so. The control point is being contested. This is really cheeky, but it's going to cost a minute's life, probably. Yes, it did cost a minute his life. I don't understand why a medic wants to go in by himself. He's the most valuable asset on the team, and he should know it. Yeah, medic movement and everything is so important. The, uh, but a lot of these medics tend to run in front of people and don't know how to dodge certain classes. And also what I don't see happen a lot is medics dodging through their teammates. Like they, they walk around their teammates like they sort of want to respect the person and just get shot in the face. But as a medic you should know that you can just move through the classes just to let them get shot. You are a most important asset to the team. If you don't get shot your team wins. And if you push with only your heavy medic and overextend, you explode. It looks like no points are going to be captured here and it's probably going to end 4-1 with these teams. Yeah, especially when the red demo stickies up the point. Blue has to regroup, but doesn't seem like doing it. Oh, <laughs> an unlucky decoc there for Agent. Oh, but is the blue spy gonna get him? Here he comes. Is he gonna get a scout for me, Patch? Are you going to get a scout for me? Or a medic? Or nothing? Or a heavy perhaps? No, the game's over. What a shame. There should be a few class scrambles in Team Blue and then probably the next game will be pretty even. Yeah, I reckon a couple of tweaks to it could uh, make all the difference. Olshi and um, Spandy could definitely be more influential in in role roles that are more where they can do the damage. That's a pretty good score for an engineer, though. Yeah, but would you imagine what it would be if he was one of the more influential classes? Like basically this score is just a guy with a shotgun. I and mean, you might want to give him a bit more. Because almost everyone has a shotgun. I'm burning. What do you think will happen? Well, if Blue wants to win, they really have to shuffle. Like the teams are about the same in skill wise. But, well, as you can see, Blue needs a boost. I think Spandy will want to go Scout. I or do. something along those lines. Scout or Sniper. And Blue will think that will be enough to... Uh, and then I think maybe all she'll go uh, Demo Man or something. Depends who want, who's open to changing to those other classes. Yeah, the thing is though, if... And Spandy goes to scout, and all she goes to demo, then Blue will be overpowered. Or overpowered. They will probably have the upper hand.
I sympathise with Sam though. It's a nightmare to uh, balance these things yeah, that's and the thing. give people diverse roles. That's the thing, really. Like you want the game to be balanced, otherwise it's just a stomp, and that's not uh, fun for either team. And uh, well, you uh, and because both teams are trying to do their best, and it will not be sorted by I don't know ranks or tiers like a professional game. It's really hard to get this night to be fun for everyone. Like, for example, as I said in the beginning of this game, you had to force Spandex into Pyro and Orsi into Engineer just to tone down their influence over the teams. Yeah. I know last week I was um, picked to play Heavy, but the trouble with that was, was that Heavy is quite reliant on the Medic giving good service and... I didn't feel that was um, there, so after the first map, really, I wanted to be Scout, which is more reliant on itself, running back to respawn cabinets, and you can sort of maintain yourself um, With health more. pickups and armor pickups, or armor, ammo pickups. And I felt I could do more in a solo role, so... Yeah, it's. Um, I'm sure a lot of these players will be thinking they can, uh, they can do more, if only they, if only they can be given the chance. And I'm, I still want to see like proper people on the medic, or at least people that are a bit more knowledgeable in the competitive or or, or what do you say, uh, professional medicking. I don't know how to describe it, but. That know that the medic is more than the public healing bot. It is in pub games. Yeah, I think um, talented medics would make a big difference, and most medics in uh, in comp games tend to uh, define the uh, play and when to hold, when to push, that sort of. Uh, yeah, aren't they usually the team captains as well? A lot of the time, I mean, it's it's difficult really because I know when we used to play com, um, used to like soldiers because you could uh, see the battlefield on, um, you know, rocket jumping in and calling things like that. So, but oh, general plays and detecting things and knowing when to fall back and your Uber statuses. Uh, a good medic is on the ball and will uh, will certainly help the team in that regard. You know, when things are a lost cause and everyone should fall back. Because you see it so many times when you have a failed push and people get caught out and they think, oh, I can still, I can still do this, but it never really works. No, it's just people being marty for the team then. It's it's throw another body on the pile. It's what we've seen happening in the previous game. Just a fight is lost and people go in one by one as a last ditch effort, they think, to turn it that way, but it just results in the slaughter of their whole team instead of half their team. Yeah, and a medic can say, Oh you stop doing that and uh, reset at you know, second point. And you know that that can stop a steamroll because before you know it, you can be uh, back on last defending, and then you're really up against it with your Uber uh, building and pushes. Just one small mistake, and it's uh, round over. Yeah, and, and with half a team, the right classes can still protect choke points or make the push go slower. And the medic is one of the right classes for that. Like if he sees his demo going, for example, it's also one of the choke point classes. You can just say, people, let's get back. Let's not do this. And as the you said, the Sorry. the um, soldiers calling things out also a big thing. The dynamic on Highlander is so strange, though. It's easier to follow and um, how the game can play out in a 6v6, in a Highlander, things seems to be a, a little bit more random and, uh, um, you know, anything can happen. 
especially with uh, this kind of these kind of teams that well don't have a lot of um, communication uh, experience, like playing as a tight team. You know, always having a spy on one team is always going to be a threat, and there's it. It can be it can be so random. I haven't seen any changes yet, have you? Uh, they've switched Dragon with Mig, I think. So now on Team Red they have Mig as the soldier and Dragon as the soldier on Team Blue. So they've switched both the soldiers. No class changes, but only uh, people changes. Has Patch dropped out as well? Yeah, Patch had to leave and they had to bring a substitute in. So who is the spy on Tinker. Team Blue now? Tinker. Patch had a few good stabs last game, so let's see if Tinker can uh, keep up uh, that level of performance and have a few medic heavy takedowns. Mission begins in 30 seconds. How is Red going to set up for this? They're going for a level 1 sentry on the container. Yeah, I don't think they've... Uh suicided anyone, have they, to get a bit of extra metal? I don't think so. Five, four, three, two, That's still a level one sentry. Okay, Blue Soldier is feeling out, reporting a few things on the little shack. Here comes the demo man. He's through, but then he gets shot down by the engineer. Meanwhile, the sentry is in level 2 right now. Sam's having fun spamming stickies everywhere. <laughs> making, sure those entrances, making sure those entrances... Making sure those exits are covered. No spotting of the spy on the blue team yet. He's gonna get the sniper. He's trying to get the sniper, but get pissed for it. Oh, what a shame. There goes Tinker, but at least the sniper is a bit distracted for now. And here comes the heavy medic Uber. Oh, Sam missed a golden opportunity then to, uh, if he'd have had his stickies placed, that medic just walked out without even checking the stickies. It doesn't matter. They, they got separated, the heavy got killed, and the medic was on his own with an Uber. I'm not really sure why Red popped theirs, but uh, this is a reset. The first attack worked. Sorry, the first defense worked. And Sam putting down the new stickies again. And for now it's just a bit of back and forth again. But then here comes the blue spy with a nice stab on the demo, but he gets killed by the sentry. I'm not sure this why he's not going for the sentry right there, because there's no engineer near it, and by the time the engineer gets there, it's probably sad. This can be quite challenging for an uh, inexperienced team to push out and get rid of the sentry and kill enough classes to make the push work. But it, they've the sentry. Yeah, they've got a good exit now. Oh, the red is going to simply up. That's a cheeky sentry right there. Why is Team Blue pulling back? Okay, the engineer down, the sentry is down. The red, the blue soldier got sniped by the sniper right there, but they have an uh, entrance. They have a way to go and forward. What's the best line of defense here? Where should they set up right now, kid? What's red got to, I, to keep them off the point? I prefer a. Um Sent they need a sentry in the uh, room on the left in the small as uh, Blue are attacking. I think that's one of the strongest places. And the sniper just where he is. It's And just making sure that the spam is going in and the right isn't open. Meanwhile, the blue, sorry, the red medic got stabbed. And the blue medic has another charge. So they are free to go in. Although, 
it seems to me that the blue medic blows his Uber a bit early. But it doesn't seem to matter because uh, they are capping the point. Also, probably what you want to do as an attacking team here is just let a few people cap the point and keep the rest of the people off your point because all bunching up on the bridge here, not a good idea, especially when there's a crits demo or even a normal demo around. Yeah, they could have used more, um, they could have pushed more classes forward to get the roll going a bit quicker. Um, they were just happy to sort of all pile on the point though and get the, get the cap points. Points in the bag. Points in the bag, but people in the back pocket and it Blue cost medic the medic. Just went down, yeah. Yeah. And this is the thing, this is why you want the room. Here comes the crits and everybody's just dying for it. If you don't secure the little room, then you're gonna get spammed to hell. Red can be in danger though of pushing up too far and um, blue sort of going round to the left. Although they're pushing on the right as well, so they're sort of going head to head. Also, it seems like a lot of Blue's team is in the same room, or in the same room right now. I hate pushing this last point. Especially with the sentry placement underneath the point, that's that's uh, really a big thing to deal with. It's a nice resupply for the pyro or whomever they put to the back. And the only thing Red has to do is keep the central hall clear. What Blue really have to do is push someone back round to the spawn and then um, control it from there. Just by doing what they're doing now, although it might work, they tend to um, get respawners come in and take the point back constantly. So if by uh, cutting them off at this spawn, likely to succeed. Again, that's the same principle as like not putting everyone on the bridge. It's just keeping people or delaying people from coming out of spawn. So you've got a sniper just jumping in on the point for no reason. <laughs> it's, it's quite funny. They just need to reset, build and push around, around the back area of red spawn. Yeah, jump off the balcony, go into the spawn and just keep maybe a heavy medic in there. Enough ammo, enough health, and then meanwhile get an engineer, mini something on the point, get some people capping, have the demo, just camp the spawn points and let the rest of the team cap really. It's just too open and too you're too likely to be shot down upon from spawners. They've got the height advantage and everything. Well, both teams are charged. Red team is, has a crit. Blue team starts the rubber. They're going to fire the top route. Here they come. There's rest of their team coming in. Well, they're killing the sentry, but now you're on your own, heavy medic. Yeah, now they're in the pit. You're in the and pit, on your own. Uber will run out. And now Red just pops the crit. Goes in the pit, I don't know why, but it doesn't matter. Red gets killed. Red gets killed. And the cap is so slow, Red will come in and uh, defend it. And there we go, another reset. The uh, engineer is going to be up at 5, going to start building his stuff again. The Maybe. Red really need to take that teleporter out from, uh, from upstairs to slow them down a bit. It can be hard for a spy to push around there though. Yeah. Easily bump into the Especially if you don't have any sidelines in someone. But it's yeah, they have removed the blue teleporter, no they haven't, it's still in the middle room. And it's making sure that the pressure is on red, but again they have to go into the pit in blue. I don't know why the scout went in. 
It's the scout that couldn't. It's the scout that shouldn't. It's the scout that did and died. I will mourn his corpse. His brave little heart. <laughs> Red felt the need to go in and Blue felt the need to kill him. Although it makes sure that they had a premature rubber blast. Are they going to do something with it? Yes, they're walking in. They were not walking in far enough. Come on, Blue. The medic is down. <laughs> this is a really odd game. I don't know what the Uber status is on Blue. 22% uh, on Blue. They just used it uh, when the medic got shot in the back by a sneaky heavy. And the red Uber is still 0% as the medic still has to respond. Blue Sniper doing some damage to uh, the poor engineer's constructions. Blue Sniper is still playing with the bow and arrow though. Yeah, he took out the dispenser and uh, it was quite, uh, did some quite good stuff there. And Blue's dead again, but the medic is not dead. And Red is still walking that pit speed, We're just trying to keep them far away. They got Blue have got Uber, just about. Yep, they have it right now. We might see another, uh, another push coming in, but here comes Sam with the pits. Blue have got this thing though, where they're only Ubering in the uh, heavy. Yeah, there's no switching as well, like the soldier right there could have been saved. But, they might be capping. They capped. They just brute forced the point so hard that Red was dead. Okay. So that was 10 minutes 19 for the full cap. Mission begins. Let's see if... Uh, Team uh, Chaos can beat Team Jurassic Park. This um, this map is an unknown quantity, though. I mean, they could just roll right through now in no time at all. Yeah, it just really depends on how much of their momentum they keep. Because this map is so odd. Okay, Red is going for a central station from the shack. Probably because they want to get it to a higher level quicker. They might move it up. I'm not a fan of that sentry placement. It's too open. You can you can spam it from more sides as a soldier or a demo. I think the crate one, they have to come out and see it. Um, you know, and get sight of it. It forces Blue to... to Fill the angle. Oh, another straight from the from the bath there, and they get sucked down with it. There's a real bit of chaos near Blue's front gate there. The sentry is down, but so are a few people from Blue and Red. Nobody is dying, and the sentry will just go up again. We were trying to uh, keep some pressure on the sentry and it worked because the sentry is down. It looks like blue is a bit faster going through this small choke point. Yeah, definitely. Although they're not there. Blue spy is going to be trying to be sneaky here. Let's see if we can grab him before he uh, does something. Come on, agent. Get your sniper. Ooh! <laughs> he gets killed for it, but he gets a sniper. Okay, another Uber comes in. The heavy is on his own. The keep There's a little out. heavy troll under the bridge. <laughs> well, he asked for toll. It might be. Yes, his toll is one body, but it's not enough. Ooh, Ooh. some nice stabbing by Tinker there on the point. That's the medic down and the uh, demo. 
Or I hate it? that spicicle. It's such a good knife. Silent. Makes you uh, a bit resistant to the pyros. It's one of the better knives. It's that one or the default spy one. But especially because it is silent, um, I'm not sure if it is any good in a like in a tight team game because when someone gets stabbed, you call it out immediately. But probably because this is a bit more loose, uh, it's still quite a able knife. Yeah, it's good for like the rapid stabs, isn't it? Where people aren't as alert, you can certainly uh, get away with it a bit more. Because the the disguise taking knife is hopefully worthless in this game just because everybody is looking everywhere and speaking with each other and when someone gets stabbed it's nice if you've got a disguise but you're going to know which disguise you've got taken because that guy's on comms so you know which class to look for you know which class to shoot you know where someone died that's probably a dead spy and now we see a good example from why you seem to push up a bit before you capture a point because red had a level 3 sentry, just waiting for them right there. And it seems that uh, Blue Heavy is going on its own adventure. Waiting for his medic, he tries to keep up the other team. Brave Heavy, where are you leading yourself? Blue's doing a good job of staying controlled here. Yeah. yeah, they're not pushing out too far. Getting a few kills here and there. But just not taking any casualties, really. Yeah, just holding the line. Okay, oh, oh. It's good that the medic didn't jump down there because it would be costing his life as well. Oh, another brave little scout was on the point. I'm not sure that central placement is as good. It's a bit in the open. <laughs> Blue's taking uh, some air miles to the point. But they will not be exchanging them very soon. And that's why that central placement point is not very good. Then we just could put some bombs on it and uh, he was done. It seems that Blue is a bit disorganized now, going in one by one. Heavy threw himself on the point. Soldier threw himself on the point. Scouts threw himself on the point. We need to stay together, guys. Oh, blue medic just got a kill on the old spy. Did he have an Uber saw? No, I don't think he did. He's at 60% Uber now, so wonder if they'll uh, make some this next push. Well, Red's going to have a uh, Uber before them. Are they going to use that one? Yes, they're using it to push. Team Blue is scrambling, uh, Heavy is dead, and I think the Medic... Where did the Medic go? Medic's gonna take Sam in, I think. He hasn't got a lot of support. Two stabs by Tinker there. What are you doing, lads? Where's your team? You're all alone. They have to get the Red Medic, otherwise they're in trouble. He gets away. And... Their attack just gets stabbed by Tinker again. I think that's the most important thing. When you push like that, you know you have to take out the defending medic as well. As soon as you get rid of like sentries and whatnot, just focus in on the medic and get rid of him. Blue medic seems to just leave the heavy alone and he makes himself really easy for a sniper shot.
can oh gee oh, that goes. just took out the medic yeah really really needed that this should be the call guys i took out the medic get ready to go don't throw yourself on the point like the heavy does i see there's no real building strategies well the blue are building now actually I'm trying to accelerate the uber charge building and really they need to all load up that top and get everyone just piling in and take out the sentry, take out the medic. Oh no. That's an early Uber, Uber charge, yeah. yeah really See and now they're all jumped on the floor and the medic's just gonna counter Uber. Yes. Maybe not. Well, it seems to work out for them right now. It could <laughs> work out. But it usually what well. you want there is that the medic and his uber target, in this time it was the demo, but it also could be a heavy, just stay on top and swipe everybody out of the pit and around it. Because as soon as you put yourself in the pit, you put yourself at a disadvantaged position. But it worked for them! So what was that? Blue won... won and... who won the first one? Red. I so it was one apiece. It might be one apiece, yeah. Yeah, uh, j -Pop. Let's see, this, the team of Spandex are... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting confused here. I think uh, I think the current blue team won both, didn't they? Yeah, because that was the team without Spandex on it. Yeah, you are correct. So Team Chaos has won both maps. I think uh, these are the games for today, and that uh, we have to congratulate Agent with Team Chaos with winning the whole thing. Well, what did you think about it, Cat? I thought it was a very good display of Team Fortress 2. <laughs> <laughs> well said. But I'm not paid to say that. Well, thank you for commentating with me anyway. It was really nice to have someone with a bit more comp experience uh, and game insight to help me with it. And I hope you enjoyed a bit of it too, without playing in it. No, it was scary and confusing. And I'm out here. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. And I hope you people on Twitch also find the commentary and camera work not too annoying and I actually hope you enjoyed watching it and if you want to uh, participate in one of these team fight nights just come to the home show heavies forum sign up everybody can do it anyway I'm Sen it's been a pleasure commentating for you and this was the fight night good night and good day <laughs>